I'm an innovator. I like new ideas. I accept a lot of concepts that are difficult. I accept the concept that children with their nose in the book create negative status. Always. It's the only reason they have negative status. Difficult to accept that concept. I know. I have 2020 now because I check my own eyes. Refractive status is slightly positive. I might have astigmatism, but who cares? I've got 2020. In fact, normal astigmatism would run up to two doctors. You can have two doctors of astigmatism if your refractive status is positive. You'll have 2020, both eyes. People get too worked up about astigmatism. It doesn't mean that much. But let's go on. I'll be talking about showing you how to your own, do your own prescribing using simple test lenses. This would be a phoropter in an office. The other test will be a product for $30 that allows you to measure your own refraction, both in terms of spherical equivalent and astigmatism. So I'll cover that separately. But what this gives you is the ability to be in control of your life and make these measurements. This is not medical, and no one in medicine will tell you that this is medicine at all, and I will tell you the same thing. Controlling your own life and your own refractive state has nothing to do with medicine, it has a great deal to do with science. So I make myself two doctors myopic with a plus, in this case, plus three on. So what do I do? Okay, I'm reading, oh, I can read about the 2050 line, LPED, nothing below that. So I use about a one minus one doctor. Okay, what can I read? Well, ED, CZP, that's about the 2030 line. So I need a stronger minus. If I were two doctor myopic, then that would be it. Here's a two, uh, two doctor minus two doctors. DEP, DEFPOTEC. So that would be my prescription, although I could probably do with a little less, matter of choice. Here's a minus three doctor. Oh, it's wonderful. DEFPOTEC. But the question is, what strength minus do you actually want? Should you have, if you're trying to go with reduced prescriptions, what minus lens should you select? You're required to have 2040 to pass the DMV. However, if you're 2050 and have a minus lens prescription, say minus two or three, and it's excessive, you gotta be very careful. If you have, you have your own test lenses, you can find out fairly quickly exactly what your refraction is and what minus you should have to drive a car. If you're fortunate and able to read the 2050 line, you should not be wearing any minus at all around the house or almost ever, except in class if you're looking at a view graph. Yes, I mean, this This does mean a little bit of juggling, but the goal, after all, is to seriously, personally exceed the 2030 line, which is very reasonable. In fact, all, thing, all children should be aim at passing the 2040 line. They should not be held to get the strongest minus possible for long permanent wear. Yet in an office, that's exactly what happens to a kid. There's a lot of evidence that says a minus lens is truly making or causing massive problems. I think that's science. I will always swear to the science of it. And I know ODs just don't have the courage to tell you anything like that. I'm not particularly angry about it, but I think as long as we continue with strong minus lenses for kids, and not telling them anything, and not offering any help at all, 
we are condemning all of them to be permanent big value myopes. I just don't see it any way. And that is science, not medicine. Now, it makes it all most difficult to deal with an optometrist at an office, which is another reason to make your own measurements. It is necessary to draw a line and separate science from what goes on in an OD office. The OD should identify medical problems if you have any. A refractive state is not a medical problem. So I would, I would do it that way. I would never go in an OD office unless I knew my refraction and my visual acuity above all else. Thus, if I read the 2025 line and he prescribes a strong minus with big astigmatism, go right back home and read the 2025 line and just think it's, it's a huge waste of money to buy glasses when you don't need them. If this is cause angry and upset, I, I regret that, I guess. Uh, I just hate seeing kids lose their eyes to a minus lens, a strong minus, and not being offered any choice at all when they're still at 20, 40, 20, 50. Granted, there's a huge resistance to change and prevention at 2040. But that's a fact, and that is a science we'll have to learn to face. A long-term time into the future, because you're not going to get any help in an office. And that's the, that's the scientific truth of this terrible situation. Thank you.